Progress Singapore Party Chairman Dr Tan Cheng Bok was up and about last weekend, joining the walkabout of the PSP Nei Soon team at Ishuan. Many Ishuan residents of different ethnic groups were glad to see us and came up to shake hands and took photos with both Dr Tan and the rest of the team. We listened to views from residents and chatted about various topics ranging from the upcoming presidential elections, recent political developments, cost of living etc. reads a Saturday July 29 Facebook post from PSP Nei Su. The team added that they bumped into PAP member of parliament Ms. Kerry Tan. Representing the Nei Soon South Ward of Nei Soon GRC since 2020. Last month, PSP members posed for a selfie with Ms. Tang and the PAP team at Nei Soon followed by a quick chit chat copy session. We are glad that Ishuan residents initiated warm reports now and have freely shared their thoughts or concerns with us and are getting more interested in latest political developments. Regardless of our political views, we are all Singaporeans and want the best for our country and citizen. For country for people, PSP may soon add it. This is the second weekend in a row that Dr. Tang joined PSP walkabouts after recovering from COVID. Last weekend he visited West Coast Market together with PSP and CMP Hazel POA. During that walkabout, the 83-year-old Dr. Tan said he would be throwing his hat into the ring in the next general election G, most likely at West Coast GOC again. The general election is the end goal for politicians, and we cannot sit still and be resigned to fate, he was quoted as saying in Lianhe Zaobao on July 22. In GE 2020, the PSP slate, headed by Dr. Tang, very narrowly lost to the PAP team, which Transport Minister S. Iswaran, winning 48.31% of the vote. Dr. Tan, a medical practitioner by profession, was a member of the ruling People's Action Party and served as a member of parliament under the PAP at Air Roger for 26 years. In 2011, he left the party to stand as a candidate in that year's election losing by 0.35% to Tony Tan. His attempt to contest in the following presidential election was thwarted due to a controversial change in the criteria for candidacy. In 2019, along with several others, he founded PSP, becoming its first secretary-general, a position he held until 2021.